Today we'll talk about isolation requirements. All of our designs meet and are tested 100% to 4 kV AC isolation. But we have seen some situations where our customers have tried to replicate this testing and cause damage to power supplies. So why is this the case? What I've drawn here is the isolation transformer, primary side and secondary side. This is where the 4 kV test is to be applied from input to output. What I've drawn here are the Y capacitors from each phase, live and neutral, to earth, C1 and C2. And I've also drawn the capacitors from the secondary side, from ground to earth, which we have in our designs for EMI purposes. So if we take this equivalent circuit and redraw it down here, you'll see that we apply 4 kV AC across C1 and C2 in parallel, and then in series with C3. Now very quickly you can start to see why damage may occur here. And the reasons for are the voltage divider effect on a combination of C1 and C2 and C3. And as we apply 4 kV AC to these points, either the voltage across the capacitors will rise, or secondly, the earth position will rise internally, which may lead to arcing on the power supply. Now these, of course, can be designed around, but with some existing power supplies, it is not possible to do a 4 kV test in circuit. So the solution to these are threefold. The first one is that because it is type testing, you were only testing for the dielectric breakdown. And under EN6601 guidelines, you can remove these white capacitors. So that's the first step. Remove the white capacitors, complete the test, and you're verifying that the dielectric of the isolation barrier doesn't break down. The second fix is to remove, in our case, remove the PCB from the chassis. This eliminates the possibility of the earth position rising and causing arcing in a completed system. And the third option, again, which is permissible under subclause 8.5.3, is that you can do a DC equivalent test of the 4 kV AC. So it's root 2 times 4 kV, which is approximately 5.6 kV DC. Any of those can be used to overcome this type of testing. For any further details on this, please feel free to contact me directly on support at excelsis.com.